Here we go. What's up? What's up? Give everybody a chance to get in here. If y'all hear any problems with the sounds or something like that, let me know. I'll get started in like a couple minutes. Hey, so are y'all enjoying these live streams? What's up, everybody? But I appreciate y'all liking these things, man. This. All right, so we can start chopping it up. This this morning, I actually was in my um. <laughs> I'll say so real quick. So with me, sometimes I have to get myself motivated and look things up and whatnot, and, and surround myself with certain things. And um, today I needed to get a little motivated. I wasn't feeling myself 100 percent today, so I need to get a little motivated. I turned on one of those um bodybuilding motivational videos on YouTube, and um I didn't watch the whole thing, but the first two seconds buddy was like you know how long does it take to build a championship physique and he was like 10 years and i was like whoa whoa what the <laughs> like 10 years so then i was like man you know and i didn't i didn't really have a, a topic for today so i wasn't thinking about it but i was like you know as i was doing things throughout the rest of the day i was like dang 10 years and i started going through my own notes and thinking to myself like how long did it take me to build my body and on top of that i was like well wait a minute i've trained people too so that's that's kind of a a open-ended you know statement oh 10 years like what if that person is coming from big to small or small to big or you know depending on where you start but i broke down a couple of things that i want to talk about to kind of um you know put some things to perspective for you guys myself included you know a lot of times when i talk about this stuff i'm like oh you know what i didn't think about that that, that does make sense maybe i should have recognized that about myself before you know so we'll talk about some things today and hopefully, like my other videos, hopefully something resonates with you in here and you can use this. Share it if you want to. You know, if you know somebody who some of this information information might help, share it with them. And um, anyway, I appreciate everybody for being here. So let's get started. So today's video is called How Long Does It Take to Build a Great Body? And I wanted to put in there from normal, okay, from like baseline, because I think it would be a little too complicated to say how long will it take to build a great body from have it needing to lose a hundred pounds or needing to you know you underweight and malnourished looking or something like that you know what i'm saying like so all of that stuff let's not let's not get into that let's keep it very simple how long does it take to build a great body coming from scratch at your default not fat scratch and not like super skinny scratch but just kind of like that mid-level range that way we all can talk about the same thing and then y'all figure it out from there you know what i'm saying um so Two things. The difference between a great body and a good body is craftsmanship. Okay. When you see a, a good body, you know, that thing that thing could have happened overnight. The dude could have been taking something. He could be on a whole bunch of sh supplements and shred stuff and running a water cycle and you know and leaning out for the summertime or just did some P90X or something like that. Things like that that can happen in three months. Like you can you can pull it off. Like if y'all try and get ready for a trip or go out of town or something like that, you want to get right. You, you want to see your abs a little bit and something like that. You know, like you want to start doing some conditioning. You could pull that type of stuff off in three months. Okay, <laughs> so that's not that's not like that's not a sustainable body though. That's something that you did real quick. And remember, whatever comes fast won't last. So if you put that body on and you got it in a couple months. Don't expect for it to be there five, 10, 15 years from now. And so I understood what he was kind of saying earlier because I'm like, you know what? You know, I, it took me specifically five months to the date for me to for me to gain, I think like I gained like 15 or 20 pounds, but my body was already okay. I was already in a place where I had been exercising and doing other things. I come from playing basketball. I took like weight training in high school. I was never really beasting, but I was already, I was 5'11", 180-ish, 185 185-ish when I got into the gym. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 178-ish. Depending on who you ask, they might tell you I was 170. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I was probably around like 180-ish, 185, something like that. You know, so 
you know, for me, it's it took it took uh, less effort probably because a like I told you guys last week, I'm a very disciplined person, and so I'm very like you know A B C D A B C D. I can do the same thing every single day, and you write it down for me one time and say, hey, stick to this plan. I'm gonna stick to that plan. So for me, that was my five months. But for somebody else, you know, and I know this because I've trained people as well. So everybody's mindset isn't like me. Everybody can't handle just saying, okay, I'm going to just put my head down for five months and just go at it, you know, six months, just go at it. So for you, it might take you longer just to get your mind right. And your first your first three months might just be getting your mind right. Being able to get acclimated on going into the gym, being able to get comfortable with, with even being in that environment. You know, like I think the people tend to forget that the gym is an intimidating place, especially if you're coming in there from nothing. If you're coming in there from scratch, you know, it takes a lot for somebody who's never worked out before to be like, okay, I'm gonna go join a gym. You figure that person's coming off the couch, you know what I'm saying? And have never done this before at all. And so they're they're putting their they're putting their self-esteem on the line to go into a building where everybody is, you know, getting judged, so to speak. You know, we're not getting judged in there, but you feel like that when you come in there because the gym is supposed to be a place where, okay, you know, we look, my body was messed up. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to try to get it back right. But some people are self-conscious about that and their self-esteem is kind of messed up because they're like embarrassed, you know, that they're actually in there. So you have to understand it takes time to get out of that mind state first and then to even start being able to focus on what you're doing with your physique or with your body, you know, whether you're male or female, you know what I'm saying? So depending on where you're coming from um, and depending on where your mind is at, it might take you three months. It might take you three months just getting into the routine of coming into the gym. You might, you know, your, your shift at work might end at a certain time, get off at a certain time, you want to eat at a certain time. Your whole routine got to switch up. So that might take you some time if you're coming off the couch to even, you know, to, to get past that part. And then we're talking about, okay, now let's start getting to the business, getting in shape, right? All right. Um, you know, once it becomes routine and you get those first three months out of the way, I would say, I really would, would feel that those next three to five months of you becoming routine is the starting path on you having getting a great body. So those next three you know months that you was working out, that's not three months that you're in, you know, you're doing P90X or doing some extreme workout program where you're trying to lose weight in 30 days. We're not talking about that. We're talking about, you know, build make making a lifestyle adjustment, you know what I'm saying? And working out to kind of build a champion physique. Now, understand a great physique. You don't want to have a physique that looks like it's been built overnight. Now, depending on who's watching this, and I've been wanting to say this for a long time, you know, <laughs> I'm about to get funky a little bit and poke some fingers at some guys. But there are guys who I've seen before who look like Build-A-Bear bodybuilders. You know what I'm saying? They look like Build-A-Bear workout guys. Like, OK, let me take some shoulders. And you got huge shoulders, but he don't have no hamstrings. He don't, Like his forearms are small. He got great biceps, but his back is flat and his chest is big, but he don't have no abs. And they just look like people put parts together. And so from a distance, you're like, yeah, he looks good. But then you, but he's not well put together. And then that's where the craftsmanship comes in. That's where the detail comes in. You know what I'm saying? So you have a, you can have an okay body, you can have a good body, but is that a great body? Is that something that you can even hold on to? And a lot of times when you build those bodies like that, that's been built quick, you know, put together real fast. What happens is when you fall off, you fall off hard. So, <laughs> so you know, what I'm saying you might you're gonna end up. And I know you guys can attest to this. You know what I'm saying? Like you've seen those guys before who look like. You know, all he does is arms or all he does is this or he got big quick, you know, because he was taking mass gains and shakes and whatever, whatever. Or, or, you know, somebody who got in shape fairly fast, even like if it's a woman, she got in shape real quick from doing a bunch of cardio or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, Matt, like you guys have seen that before. You know, if you see somebody and they're like, OK, I'm going to get in shape. I've been going out running every day. You get in shape, but you do all that cardio and your body looks it's, it does the opposite effect because it ate all your muscles. So now you kind of look like, you know, sloppy ish. But you did lose the weight, but you got the skinny fat look. You know what I'm saying? So you're soft. You're not you're not hard and toned because you didn't do anything for your muscles. And that's just how the body works. So on the contrary, as soon as you fall off, your fat cells are going to expand right back up. And you're going to gain all that weight right back. So you're going to it's going to come back just as fast as you lost it. You see what I'm saying? So the same thing with that dude who works out and he built his foundation on a whole bunch of supplements and working out hard and, you know, trying to get it quick and whatnot. Man, that thing can't you can't hold you can't hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all seen me look the same for like five years now, five, six years now. You can't hold on to that. If I was lying, I would have been fell off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. And I know a lot of guys who I worked out with and we we 
you know, we used to be in the gym together and they go away for a second or they fall off a second and they come back and it's like, damn, what happened to you? You know, say like, dude, I remember when you was X, Y, and Z, you fell off that bed. So those next three to five months are very important because that fall off period um, of when you get exhausted from hitting your goals, you know, and you're like, oh, wow, now I look like something. Okay, now I can scale back or you might mess around and get into a relationship or you might mess around and start a new job or something like that. You might end up you know, get into some something that takes you away from what your plan was. You might go back to school or if you're in college, you might go back to college. You know, so it's a bunch of different things that can come your way. But those months right there are the are the pivotal months because you have to be able to maintain that body that you just built and hold on to it during the times that you're doing other life type of things. You know what I'm saying? The other things in life are going on. If you can manage that body while the rest of the stuff in your life is going on, now we talking. Now you about to put something together. You know what I'm saying? Now, now you're putting together a physique that might that might look like something. All right. So, um, now we talked about that midterm, that fall off period. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the long term. And so for a great body, I would say it's gonna take about seven to nine years of consistency. You know what I'm saying? Like he was right on the ten year thing, but I would say seven to nine years only because um, you know depending on the age that you start your body may not be ready to develop certain things at certain points and so while you may say you know for yourself you look good you probably don't look as good as you could look you know what i'm saying you probably look good for where you came from but you don't look good for what you probably could pull off if you really put it together and sometimes i know for myself my body wasn't it didn't want to respond when i was younger like when i was when i was um in high school or actually when i first graduated high school I actually wanted to put on size. Like 50 Cent was my, I had his poster on my wall. I had to get Richard Die trying post on my wall. So I was looking at him like, yo, I want to look like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to see these guys. And back then there wasn't Instagram and stuff. This was 2006, seven. So I didn't have all that, you know, the, the things to look at it. And, you know, it wasn't pictures on your phone back then and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I had to put posters on my walls in my room, you know, in my, when I, in my house, in my apartments, whatever. So, you know, I was, I was, wanting to see and wanting to build that type of body but my body wasn't responding to that and i remember back then i was you know doing everything i could that i knew to do because it wasn't that much information on putting on size and getting big back then like not like it is now it wasn't just a whole bunch of youtube stuff that didn't start popping until like 2015 or something like that when people started getting busy on youtube but back then you know you had to get a personal trainer or you had to just mess around in the gym or whatever but my body wouldn't do the things that I had available to me. It wouldn't grow the way his body would. You know what I'm saying? And so when I got a little bit older, probably like around 20-ish, 22, 23, maybe even older than that, the weight started sticking. You know what I'm saying? Like the weight started sticking and it wasn't that hard for me to put on weight. It didn't take, you know, months to put on a pound. It started being like, okay, I can put on some size and I can build this shape fairly easily if I do all these steps. You know what I'm saying? So my body just wasn't time for it to start developing at that space yet so sometimes you might think that okay i want to achieve this look but your body's not even because you may not have built the the conditioning in your muscles you may not have built the the um you know the the endurance in your muscles to be able to do like a lot of volume and certain muscles get developed by volume exercises so if you're not doing if you don't have the conditioning you may not be doing it and then you may not just be you know sometimes exercises don't respond well to you at certain times in your life depending on your flexibility and your mobility and you know just the the equipment that you have access to i don't know if you guys have ever worked out in certain gyms and you don't have the stuff that you need in there like that's the worst thing you know what i'm saying or you go to a gym that's across town and they got a piece of equipment that makes it fit that that helps you way better than it than you know the, the basic stuff that you was using at your regular gym so keep that in mind so certain things play into the cards of it all but i think it takes a lot of time to build that balance where you find a sustainable body that you're comfortable with and then able to maintain that it's going to take you about 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you need that consistency. And you also, what a, lot, what a lot of people tend to forget is that you have to have a good eye for it as well. You got to understand what you're missing and you can't lie to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to really look at yourself and be like, okay, wh what areas can I improve? What needs work? What needs you know assistance? What areas of my body could I, could I develop better or whatever like that? And once you kind of can see that and, and rate yourself, like on a scale of one to 10, how do I look? I, you know, once you start getting into that detail, because the people who you see have a great physique, what happens is I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna give y'all this. I'm gonna give y'all the sauce right here. The difference between you and somebody who has a great physique is the attention to detail 
in the muscles that you wouldn't work in the muscles that they're working but you can't tell that they work those muscles because you can't see that that's what it is if that makes any sense okay so bear with me i've been i've done competitions before i've done bodybuilding i've done open bodybuilding men's physique and classic physique so i've seen i've been on stage with all of those different competitors you know what i'm saying i've done npc and i've done natural shows so i know what it's like staying on stage with those guys when I sit back and look at, or when I was going to the competitions to see what they looked like before I got there, before I started competing, I was saying, okay, what do they have that I don't have? And I was looking at these dudes and seeing like, wait a minute, they got this and I don't have that. Okay, so let me write that down, go back to the drawing board and start hitting that rear delts. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll look at some, oh, they don't have it. Okay, I don't have this. Forearms, traps, uh, little things like obliques. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, like lower abs, a lot of people don't have it. The 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 split down the mid the midsection on your lower abs, a wide chest that rolls into your shoulder. When I first started working out, my chest wasn't like this. My chest didn't didn't just lead in to my shoulder like this. This was very deliberate. You know what I'm saying? My chest was like uh it sunk in right here before, like at the top, and I was kind of like this. So it was it was big, but it wasn't it was shapely, but it wasn't really the way it is. But I did so much work on working that palette because I wanted to look like I wanted to look like a statue, and I was like, okay, what do those dudes have that I don't have? Their chest leads into their shoulders real smooth. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to build that look of my upper chest where it just leads into the shoulder so it looks like one, one piece of body armor or something like that. And, of course, today I'm not looking amazing, but on stage, if I, when I put it together, it looked like I put on some like a body suit. You know what I'm saying? Like You can see all the details in my chest. You can see all the details in my shoulders and on my triceps and all of those things because I realized that there's a level of detail that the person who who you know put it, who looks at their body and uses it as art is different from somebody who just works out, who just goes to the gym and just gets it in and just does their thing and tries to get out of there. You know what I'm saying? So attention to detail is going to separate you from having a good body to a great body if you want a great body understand it's going to take you some time and whatever comes fast won't last if you put one of those bodies on with all those supplements and stuff like that and all those you know just get get quick you know results and all those things listen when you stop doing it a you're going to fall off and then b that stuff might affect your internal organs your kidneys and your liver and all those different things you was taking i told y'all man like those protein powders, you drink those protein shakes and stuff, and they harden back up inside of your kidneys, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you know how you sit your protein shake in a cup, and you shake it up or whatever like that, and you sit it down, and then, you know, like, it gets kind of hard on the sides. If you don't drink it, it gets sludgy like that. Man, that's doing that inside your body too, dog. So so while you while you eating food, that's, not, that's digesting because your body can digest certain things. Some of those shakes, they're not built the same way to digest like that. And so they're sitting inside your, you know, inside your stomach, just building up, you know, walls and inside your kidneys and stuff like that because it's liquid. So you got to pee that stuff out and it doesn't come out like urine. You see what I'm saying? So think about those things and consider that stuff when you're working out, you know, but um, I hope that's helped y'all today. Today was supposed to be a quick day. I didn't want to get busy in here. I know some of these videos turn into 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, and I was like, you know what? Let me just do some. If y'all have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, hopefully that helped you guys to kind of, you know, understand a couple things about how to build your body and what to look for and what to expect you know when you're going to your goals and stuff like that so um that's that listen i appreciate everybody for being here subscribe to my channel and okay it helped miss brown aisha 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 brown perfect it must be my cousin um appreciate y'all for being here and hopefully you know you can share my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to get your Kelly Brown's Naturals um, glass meal prep containers. And um, <laughs> I'm going to, I think what I'm going to start doing is vlogging a little bit more. So look out for another vlog this week. And because I got some things to talk about with you guys about what's going on with me and my update. I haven't done like my six month update on what's happening in my regular life. So I might make a video on that. And other than that, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or have any topics that you'd like me to discuss, feel free to DM me. Remember, I'm Get Fit with KB on everything. So on Instagram, Get Fit with KB. On YouTube, Get Fit with KB. Um, you can email me at support at getfitwithkb.com, uh, Facebook or whatever. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.